In this week's episode of Mod Mondays, we're going to be installing this 5-inch Billy Bars bed rack system from Yodaverse on this 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's go. I bought this product from this awesome store called Yodaverse. They sell various off-road products perfect for the Tacoma and Toyota owners in general. My experience with them was great and their personal response game on inquiries is quick and informative. I highly suggest you check their website out which I'll link in the description box below. The package comes with this detailed instruction manual with a scannable QR code and all the mounting hardware you'll need for this installation. It also comes with these four heavy-duty brackets. I went with the 5-inch high option as I prefer a lower profile design, but there's also an 8-inch high version for those who prefer a slightly taller bed rack system. These brackets seem very sturdy and premium to the touch. Lastly, the package comes with these two heavy-duty crossbars that will mount on the four brackets. Please note that one of the crossbars will have a Billy Bars decal on it, which is aimed to be placed in the rear of your truck. Again, these has some heft to them and feels very solid. Let's start this installation by prepping the Billy Bars bed rack system. Here are all the parts that were supplied. First, you'll need to install the brackets on the bed of your truck. You're gonna have to insert the provided 3-8 bolts into the backing plates. This will then slide into the bed rail of your Tacoma. Then, you'll need to run this through the holes of the brackets to seat them properly and then lock it into place using the provided flat washers and the locking nuts. You're gonna need to do that for all brackets and then simply install the crossbars onto the brackets. As mentioned before, ensure that the crossbar with the decal is on the rear of your truck and simply place the crossbars along the bracket cradles, then line up the mounting holes on the bracket to the mounting holes of the crossbars. When that's complete, secure the crossbars using the provided M8 bolts, locking washer, flat washer, and the T40 Allen key. Before installing the brackets to your Tacoma, you're gonna need to remove the tonneau cover if you own one. This is the main reason I went with the Billy Bars to allow me to keep my tonneau cover while still having a bed rack. For those familiar with my channel, you'll know that I have the x Ang Solid Fold 2.0 tonneau cover. To remove this, you'll need to pull the rear clamp down and slide it to the side. Then fold the cover fully and lock it into place using the locking straps. When that's complete, you're gonna need to loosen up the front clamp to remove the cover completely. Twist the black tab out, then release the jaw by pushing the tonneau cover up slightly. Then, repeat this on the other side. After that, simply lift the cover off the cab and place it to the side. If you have bed cleats on your Tacoma, you'll also need to remove this. This will be in the way of the backing place that we'll need to slide along the bed rail. Simply loosen, twist, and pull out. Repeat this on the other side and put the bed cleats aside. After removing your tonneau cover, let's now install the four Billy Bar brackets to your Tacoma's bed. You're gonna need your mounting brackets, hardware, a T25 Torx bit, and a screwdriver. First, we need to temporarily remove anything installed in the bed rail starting with the rear mounting clamps for the tonneau cover. Use your T25 Torx bit and a screwdriver to remove this. Put this aside and remove the end caps of the bed rail. Please note that this can be tight, so carefully pull it out. Then access the clamp plates and slide it out of the way. We'll reinstall all of these back later. After doing this for both sides of the truck, let's now prep the mounting bolts we'll need. 
insert all 3 8 bolts on the backing plates. Then we'll use the flat washer and locking nuts to secure this. Grab a set and slide this into the truck's rail system. You're gonna need four on each side. Then grab the brackets and simply place it through the bolts. When that's complete, grab the washers and the locking nut. You're also going to need 4 sets per side. Simply install the washer and locking nut and hand tighten this. Please note that we'll fully tighten these later once we have the final placement for our brackets. Repeat this for all the other brackets. The next step in this installation is to adjust the location of the brackets. This step will be dependent on the size of the rooftop tent you own and any other accessories you're planning on installing. In my case, I have a 48 by 48 inch tent so I base my spacing on that. Grab your tape measure and adjust the front bracket first. I'm spacing mine at 60 centimeters from the front of the bed to the center line of the bracket. Then I'm spacing the second bracket at least 30 inches center to center from the front bracket. I went with 74.5 centimeters to be exact. For the measurements to the back of the bed, I have 64 centimeters. Double check your measurements and transfer this to the other side. This is probably the longest step of the installation for me as I'm so particular and made a lot of checks. When that's complete, grab your drill. 3 8 socket and carefully tighten the brackets into place without moving them. If you're having difficulties tightening, place one finger to push the 3 8 bolts into the backing plate slot. Then repeat this for all the other four brackets. After this, you need to reinstall the mounting bracket for the tonneau cover and the bed rail end caps. Simply slide the backing plate into place and push the end caps back in. Then reinstall the clamping brackets using the T25 Torx bit and a screwdriver. Then repeat on the other side. If you're enjoying this video so far, please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. After installing the brackets, we'll need to reinstall the tonneau cover to make sure it fits with the bed rack system. Grab the fully folded to new cover and place it back over the front of the truck box. Make sure that the long side is placed on the bottom and then remove the security latch and unfold the cover fully. Then adjust the position of the to new cover so that it's equally spaced on both sides and that the rubber seal in front is touching the truck bed. When that's complete, carefully fold the cover without shifting its position. Then pull down the front clamp and slide it in an angle until it's touching the front clamping brackets. Then simply tighten it by twisting the T-handle until the cover is secured to its place. Repeat this on the other side. After this, unfold the cover completely and simply clamp the rear in place. Do this by pulling the spring-loaded rear clamps until it's secured on the rear clamping brackets. The next step is to install the crossbars on the brackets we installed on the truck bed. You're going to need the two crossbars, mounting screws, and the T40 Torx Allen key. Head over to your truck and make sure you install the crossbars with a decal on the rear of the truck. Simply line up the crossbars on the bracket cradles to install this. Do this for both crossbars. Then grab the mounting hardware and prep this for ease of installation. Add a lock washer then a flat washer to the mounting bolt. When that's complete, grab a set and thread this to the holes of the crossbars. Do this for all the brackets. Then grab the provided T40 Torx Allen key and tighten each of the mounting screws we just installed. 
Please ensure that you don't over tighten this. After installing the crossbars, here is a bonus step for this installation if you purchase the Molly panel accessory that Billy Bar offers with their bed rack system. The package comes with all the mounting hardware you'll need for this install. These mounting brackets. And of course the Molly panel itself. These are heavy duty and has multiple options for mounting your future accessories. Grab the brackets and install this first. Simply need to line up the holes to the existing holes of the Billy Bar mounting brackets. Since there will be a lot of bolts, I suggest that you prep each of these for ease of installation. I separated them into their own type first, and I place a washer onto the mounting bolts. This will be secured in place by another washer and a locking nut combo. Grab a set and start inserting the two bolts on the mounting holes. Then follow that up with a flat washer and hand tighten the locking nut. Then grab a 3/8 wrench, T40 Torx bit and a drill to tighten this in place. You're going to need to use the wrench in the back of the locking nut and the drill with a T40 Torx bit at the front to tighten. Carefully tighten this and repeat for all the brackets. And that's complete. Prep the other package of the mounting hardware for the next step. After installing the Molly panel brackets, let's now attach the Molly panels themselves. To do this, simply line up the Molly panels to the brackets. My measurements mentioned at the start allow for the panels to be centered along the truck bed. You'll need to line up the four mounting holes for the molly panels and two mounting holes for the crossbars. Grab eight bolts with locking nuts and place all the bolts to hold the panel in place. Then place a washer and a locking nut on one bolt of each bracket. We'll tie in these two first to fully secure the molly panels. Make your final adjustments and use the drill with a 3-8 wrench combo again to tighten the bolts. And simply repeat this for the rest of the bolts and the other panel. The last step of this installation is to go over a couple of scenarios for the billy bars. Ultimately, I will have a rooftop tent installed on this, so stay tuned for that video coming soon. If you have a bed extender like me, you'll still want access to this. The measurements I used took this into account as, as you can see, and feel able to open and close mine. If you need access to your truck bed and have a tri-fold tenue cover, here's how easy it is to remove the crossbars. The T40 Torx Allen key provided can be used to remove the bolts. Simply line this up to the hole of the molly panel and loosen up the bolts. I keep the T40 Torx bit on my truck in case I ever need to remove the crossbars to fully access my truck bed. This takes minimal effort to remove and eventually my plan is to have a garage roof system to lift this and the rooftop tent together. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this Billy Bar bed rack system installation. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you on the next one.